You Too Man by Owl Rehab Fragrance Review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this U2 Man by Owl Rehab. Now, I first heard of Owl Rehab with Owl Rehab Silver, which was supposed to copy Silver Mount Water. Since then, I've tried a few clones and haven't really dabbled with that one. One of my subscribers suggested this one to me and I was unable to find the spray. I think this normally comes in spray, but I got two roll-ons. Super, super cheap, very, very affordable. And this fragrance is supposed to copy Gucci Rush, which apparently came out in 2000. Personally, I don't have that much experience with Gucci Rush. I never smelled it. I have heard little bits of it in the fragrance community here and there but never anything that made me really want to get it or anything really overly talked about with this one but enter you too man so I remember I was looking up on Fragrantica and I was unable to find normal fragrance notes for this one I went ahead and looked up Gucci Rush's notes so let's go over Gucci Rush's notes cypress lavender sandalwood cedar juniper white musk and patchouli to me guys this is actually a somewhat of a familiar style fragrance a fragrance that kind of goes right down the middle but at the same time it does little bits it pulls on little strings that makes it kind of unique in its own way i could see why somebody would like gucci rush after trying this so the pros is that it's unique but at the same time ever being unique it is somewhat of a right down the middle style sense to me i get a little bit of sweetness but it's not overall kind of sweet it's just put together like a very classic fragrance like a very likable classic fragrance right down the middle but it doesn't really directly remind me of anything which I appreciate that but at the same time it really doesn't pull on too many other strings when you're looking at the notes I definitely smell a little bit of musk a little bit of classic stuff like lavender and patchouli maybe a little cypress in there the cypress kind of gives I think a little bit of a unique zest of freshness it's very very affordable I gotta say the longer that this sits the better it smells in my opinion so that's kind of like the pros of you two man the cons i don't have too too many it's just like in the opening there's this kind of harsh style smell i can't really describe it it almost smells like something you'd you find in like an auto body shop or like a mechanic's shop it's almost like greasy or oily or it's just some kind of weird off-putting vibe that i'm not used to smelling i've never smelled this off-putting vibe in anything else and right away i just really didn't like this off-putting vibe at all i was kind of like it's hard for me to recommend this to anyone as the time went on it slowly smelled better and about an hour hour and a half into it that initial roughness was gone and you were just left with a typical likable scent right down the middle scent but a scent that i haven't smelled a lot of other places and when you cut out that initial thing that i don't like the top notes whatever that is i can't really describe it synthetic not good but once that's gone it's actually a really really enjoyable scent that i could wear a lot so i see i think why people would like gucci rush because of the dry down this one i really really do enjoy it i wrote up some ratings for this one this fragrance kind of ends up being right down the middle due to its pros and cons so i'm going to give the smell a 7.5 i would say if i was just only smelled like the dry down maybe i'd give it an 8 maybe an 8.5 but i'll say an 8 because it is likable i haven't smelled it anywhere or i haven't smelled things that smell just like this so i do appreciate that but that initial opening blast is kind of not for me personally it kind of have to put it as 7.5 right down the middle likability um, again i'm gonna have to put this as 7.5 i think cutting out the middle i might have put this as a firm 8.5 in likability because it just is likable it smells like a classic fragrance that smells good that you haven't smelled before that's great but then i don't know how likable the opening would be i think the opening is very unlikable for that i'm gonna have to give it a, a solid 7.5 right down the middle i know you're gonna hate me for this one but longevity and projection what do i think it's going to be a 7.5 just because it's not a beast mode but it's not really bad like any fragrance that lasts maybe like an hour i have to put it like a six or so this one i kept smelling it for longer than i would expect and again i would much rather try the spray of this one unfortunately i have the roll on so i think it's just a little bit differently it might maybe it has more oils in there but i would just prefer a spray for this this lasted actually a pretty decent amount of time because that opening initial blast 
last you kind of smell for maybe 45 minutes but i would say the longevity and projection is you might get up to two hours with this one maybe an hour and a half two hours i'll say about that and then you could smell it for a decent amount of time afterwards again nothing that makes me think it's weak but nothing that makes me think it's strong so i'm going a 7.5 so anyways guys i'd give this a 7.5 right down the middle it actually does make me want to try the original spray version just because i do enjoy this and i think it would be closer to what i would expect in normal fragrances i don't really use too much roll-ons personally have you tried the original gucci rush was it a great fragrance i'll be very interested to see down below have you tried this you too man have you tried any other fragrances by Al Rehab, I'll be very interested to see down below. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers, and I couldn't do that. Any of you guys' help, you guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.